Hi, my name is Avery. I'm one of the tech advisors here at West System Epoxy, and today we're going to be going over a hardener selection between all of our four hardeners for our 105 system. There are four different hardeners, and each of them are used for different circumstances. And so it can be difficult sometimes to choose which one you need. What is an epoxy? An epoxy is when you mix a resin with a hardener. We have four different hardeners for our West System line. We have our 207 Special Clear, our 205 fast, our 206 slow, and our 209 extra slow. When you're selecting your hardener for your 105 system, you, there's really two big criteria that you're basing that on, the speed and the clarity. Uh, we're gonna talk about selecting based on speed first. We're gonna first start with our 205 fast hardener. It has a pot life of nine to 12 minutes and a working time of 60 to 70 minutes at 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius. Pot life uh, is when you have all of your uh, mixed epoxy in one spot, like in your mixing cup. Uh, it cures a lot faster. It starts to gel a lot faster compared to when your working time, when it's spread out on a fabric or in a roller pan. Your clock starts ticking on your pot life and your working time when, you're, when you introduce your hardener to your resin and it ends when it begins to gel and becomes unworkable. We recommend using the 205 fast hardener between 80 degrees and 40 degrees. Uh, above 80 degrees, the epoxy begins to generate too much heat. It begins to kick off before you can really get any fabric wet out or any bonding purposes. Below 40 degrees, it almost stops curing because it becomes too slow. The 205 is a five to one resin to hardener mix ratio, just like our 206. The 206 hardener has a pot life of 20 to 25 minutes and a working time of 90 to 110 minutes at that 72 degrees Fahrenheit range. We recommend using the 206 hardener below 90 degrees, but above 60 degrees. Above 90 degrees, it kicks off too quickly and below 60 degrees, it stops curing altogether. When you're working in those especially hot temperatures, we're gonna recommend you switch to our 209 Extra Slow Hardener. Uh, the 209 has double the pot life in the working time of the 206 at a pot life of 40 to 50 minutes and a working time of three to four hours. Though all of our hardeners do cure down to 72 degrees, we only recommend using the 209 above 80 degrees because it really struggles uh, below 70 degrees. Unlike the other two hardeners we've mentioned previously, the 209 is not a five to one system, it is a three to one system. So far we've talked about choosing the speed of your hardener based on the temperature you're working at. You might also wanna consider switching your hardener based on the complexity of the project that you're working on. If you're working on a simple bonding project, the 205 is excellent for you. But if you're working on something more complex, you might wanna consider switching to the 206 or the 209. When you're working on a project where you need a clear finish, such as a clear carbon or a bright wood finish, the hardeners that were previously mentioned, each of them have a, a slight amber finish, whereas our 207 Special Clear Hardener gives a good clear finish. It's blush free with a similar cure profile to our 206 Slow Hardener. It has a pot life of 20 to 26 minutes and a working time of 100 to 120 minutes. The 207, like the 209, is a three to one resin to hardener mix ratio. And to help simplify everything, uh, we do offer a calibrated mini pumps that offer the correct three to one or five to one mix ratio with one pump of resin to one pump of hardener. It's really important to remember that these systems need to be mixed on ratio. Adding more or less hardener won't change the speed of your reaction. It just will inhibit it and cause it to not cure at all. We here at West System Epoxy keep QC retains of each of the hardeners that leave our facility for two years. During this time, if you experience a problem, we can compare your batch at home to a sample of that same batch that we keep here in our facility. Your epoxy will be good for much longer than the two years that we keep retains on hand. But you will notice that the 205 fast, the 206 slow, and the 209 extra slow will start to darken over time, whereas the 207 Special Clear will start to yellow. After five years, the hardener could lose some reactivity, so we recommend making a small test batch. After about 10 years, we don't recommend using your epoxy for anything that requires structural strength, but it should still cure the way it's supposed to. The biggest takeaway when selecting your hardener is that there are three main factors to consider. The temperature you're working at, 
the complexity of your project, and the, the desired final finish. If you're looking for a clear final finish, you're going to want to go with the 207 Special Clear Hardener. When selecting based on temperature or complexity, you're going to go with the 205 Fast, the 206 Slow, or the 209 Extra Slow.